So I, I tell people I have become slightly more positive over time as I've been focusing on Strength Finder. Positivity is not one of my themes, but it's certainly a theme that I appreciate. And I want to just, as we usually do, kind of give you, I call it the overture, an overview of of this theme, and then we'll get the, the real expert on this, somebody who has it come, come in and talk with us about it. Uh, positivity is a theme that really has to do with what I would say emotional influence. You may recall that uh, we've talked about woo and we've talked about communication. I think those three themes often track together, and woo is about people who have this kind of natural social influence. Uh, people with communication are people who have this natural verbal influence, and I think positivity brings people who are uh, emotionally influential and they do this by their natural optimism and enthusiasm uh, and that natural optimism and enthusiasm stimulate the energy and lifts the hopes so these really are people who know how to make other people feel good they're people who know how to uh, lift the spirits and lighten the loads of other people and they just really have an overall positive effect on the emotional environment of a, of a situation, of a team, a family, an organization. Um, this is in the uh, relationship building domain is where we find it. So obviously it plays a role in building relationships. And, and relationships are so important whether you're a leader, whether you're a manager, whether you're a salesperson, whether you're a parent. Relationships are, are very important. Some of the uh, words that uh, I think might be meaningful to people who have this theme are words like energizer, optimist, encourager, cheerleader, influencer, celebrator, recognizer, enthusiast, promoter, lots of different words and I often like to let people choose the word that fits them best. They're, they're all kind of positive words. Some adjectives that I think that go with this theme uh, and some of them are the same but fun, optimistic, hopeful, generous, happy, enthusiastic, energetic, joyful, influential, dramatic might be one, lighthearted and positive minded. So, so there's lots of different ways that people can kind of uh, contribute to that emotional uh, positive environment. In terms of the, uh, the kind of the barrier labels, the basement, how uh, positivity can sometimes be misunderstood or, or maybe even misused is words that kind of describe that. Sometimes a person with positivity might be perceived and in fact could be somewhat naive. Or maybe they they might be be someone that has kind of a Pollyanna view of life. Or, or maybe they uh, wear rose-colored glasses. Or they might be called someone who's a spin doctor. You know, trying to put a positive spin, spin on everything. Uh, I think there are certain themes that are kind of uh, intensify positivity. I think themes, if you have positivity and you have maximizer, I think it's kind of like one plus one equals three. Or maybe positivity with futuristic. There's this kind of idealistic uh, dreaming that kind of goes, goes with it. Uh, themes that, would, that might temper positivity a bit. I think uh, it, it could be a theme like... Uh, Command, obviously, if a person had positivity and command, that would that would feel different. Or positivity and restorative, those would be more unlikely kind of pairs. In fact, statistically, the theme that most frequently goes with positivity is uh, woo. That is the theme. If a person has positivity, there's a 31% chance that are, they're also going to have woo. So those two don't just go together conceptually in my conceptual package, but statistically, woo and positivity are kind of like uh, they're joined at the hip <laughs> in many people. They go together. Um, I think uh, I like to think about themes also with regards to what's this look like kind of in its raw version. Uh, I think sometimes when, when, when positivity is raw, it might sound like this. Unhappy people can make me unhappy, so I avoid them. That might be what positivity might look like in its raw, kind of uninformed, um, uh, inexperienced kind of version. I think here's what mature positivity uh, 
sounds like. I can make unhappy people happy, so I approach them. I think one, I think more mature positivity runs toward people, more immature positivity runs away from unhappy people. Because uh, obviously not everybody's going to be happy, but this ability to kind of lift people's spirits and to kind of lighten the mood. Uh, it, it, I often say that people with positivity can be these extremes. They can look very different. In some, in some ways, and I don't know if Luke or Jim, both of you have positivity, if you were ever perceived as this, as the class clown. You know, kind of, <laughs> Jim, you're shaking your head. Uh, the person who could kind of get people laughing when, when maybe uh, just by what they said. On the other hand, there's this more subtle version of positivity. I, I say these are people who bring food to work. They're subtly trying to get a celebration started. So, uh, so there's a whole range of ways that this particular theme. But I think its, it's key part is the, the social and emotional effect that these people can have on the on uh, the environments that they work in and and I always like it when when I'm leading programs to have some some people in the room that have some positivity because it it makes life more fun it makes it more enjoyable and I think when people feel better they often do better